you going? I thought you were going to help him with his poop. I'm not going to shovel it, am I? This is called poop rock. We brought them the poop. Don't dig through the crap. Stay out of the cow poop. Well, welcome back. It's another fun-filled day of cow poo. Cow crap, cow poo. Cow. We're dealing with cow poo again today. There it is. And there he is. He is so ex He's been moving cow crap for a day. But it looks crap, good. Topsoil, fill dirt. He's been very wood. busy. Yeah. Wood. Let's go to the parents. Taking the cow poop to the parents' house now. What do you think, Ethan? Cow poop. Yeah. Cow poop. We got cow poop. Why? These boys I, are one. I already know why. For the garden. It's for the garden. You are right. Cow poop for the garden. Why? Mm hmm. You should see all the worms that are in there. What? There's worms in here? Yeah. Gma was picking out the worms. Look how cute they are. Worms. Raise your hands in the air. Or do something funny. What's the plan? What's the plan? I'm going to pull those lay bushes out. Pulling the bushes out, okay. And start tilling. Till it up, break it up there, break up the soil. Add some cow manure, till it in. That's cool. I think my dad is going to come out here shortly. Okay. Well, we're here. We're here at the parents' house. We brought them the poop. My dad's excited to have the cow poop. I don't think we're going to save these bushes, are we? I don't think so. I don't think we want to. Are you planning on saving these bushes? No, those are as old as Amy. Okay, old as Amy. We planted them in the front yard the year Amy was born. All right, well Amy, that's my daughter. However old you are, like I remember. She's eight. She's eight, yeah, she was born on leap year, nine, nine. Leap year day, nine. she's nine. nine. She's officially nine. They're very pretty now, but when, when the flowers stop blooming, they're very spindly. They're just nothing but, but twigs. wonder if we could save those, like cut them back and... This is the, this is the nicest one. The, the others, I've been, every year I take out one of them, but... They're not nice. There. See that one back there? That's how they look like. Oh yeah, they're really just old bushes. Just old they're bushes. 34, I think. 34? 34 years old. Oh look at here goes this cute little kid down the road. Can you see this? How cute is that? There he goes. <laughs> Like people watching your work? I don't mind. We can take those home and burn them. That would be the only one you would save. The others are really bad, but I wouldn't even. I'm telling you, it's, no, don't do it. Don't do it? Okay. Mother mother spoke. Mother has spoken. The red ones in the front, those are pretty new. You want those when they're dug up? There he is. <laughs> Just supervisor. Yeah. supervisor. There's the supervisor. Oh, yeah. The supervisor of the cow poop. <laughs> Those are the three right there we have to try and dig out. And see this thing? Yeah, oh, that's a... The ever-blooming hydrangea. Or all, all your... I don't know the, the official name. But we'll take those three out and plant three along here to get to that one down there. And then it'll be like a hedge. Oh, that'll be pretty. You probably don't remember the lighthouse in... Cape May, New Jersey that we saw? Probably not. It had hedges of hydrangeas. That's the look I'm going for. Okay. Well, that'll be pretty. Yeah, it will. But 
And what, what are those again? These are azaleas, and they're a really pretty bloom. I like a rosy red. Well, maybe we'll take those, because we're... Those are not, those, those will be okay. They're taken care of. I only fertilized them once last year. So. Well, we're planning on pulling all the stuff out from in front of our house. We're planning on pulling all the stuff out from in front of our house anyway and painting the house, so maybe we'll take those. Why not? We could give it a try. They need fertilized, probably would do a lot better. All right, I can, I can do that. Looks like really good dirt. Yeah. So far, all dirt looks good when it's wet. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some uh, common ore in there now. Some peat moss in here, and uh, that'll look good. Yeah. Can I have a bucket of that? Oh yeah. Bucket of what? We brought. She wants a bucket of poop. Well, I got a tote for you. Yes, ma'am. My mom branches. wants a bucket of poop. I want a combination. <laughs> she wants us to mix the poop for her. Poop and pee, my dad said. <laughs> We're getting crazy here. One, number two. Bonnie plants, I found out. Let me get me a tarp out here. Get nice beets. Got to put calcium on. Calcium on your beets? Calcium. And onions. Calcium on your onions, too? Yeah. You, you look at that Bonnie said. It, it's got a picture of all the vegetables along the string line. You just hit whichever one you want, and it gives you all the instructions how to plant it, how to grow it, how to harvest it, and that, well, how you can cook it. I'll have to check it out. Oh, it's nice. Uh, I might need your assistance. He okay. needs my assistance. I can't move today, so we're going to let Grammy assist him. I'll help you. She's what we're going to do is put this under the... Uh, my back is like... The bed here. I, I don't know. It's shot right now. Debris. My hips, I can't hardly walk. I should probably not be walking around carrying this camera. I believe you're tarping the driveway so it doesn't get poop all over the driveway, right? Yes. Okay. He's tarping the driveway, Mom, so it doesn't get, like, cow poop all over your new driveway. They just had a new cement driveway put in. I think last year. Hey, we get these bushes up in the corner. What are we doing with the bushes? Take them to our house and get them them to burn them. Okay. Okay. But not the other two. Wow, oh, that's a lot. I know. There's a lot of crap in there, isn't there? That's full of crap. Well, not full, but part way. Cow crap. There's worms in there if you want to dig through it. Feel free. I have one of those pastas all in a ball. Do you want one of them? She said to ask you. I don't care. I don't care. She's the boss. I can't leave Did out. you hear that? Yeah. Can you say that again? She's the boss. Ooh, he's talking about me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just the wrong the mule. Uh, he's the laborer. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help him with his poop. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm not going to shovel it, am I? Well, yeah. His saw? What do you want cut down? Some limbs out there? Just one. Well, why didn't you say something? I thought I'd wait a few months. <laughs> <laughs> then ask. Oh. Go get your shovel. <laughs> I'm trying to get my mom to get the shovel. I think you were going, weren't you? Yeah, I was. I thought. See the little shovel? There's a long shovel and a short shovel. 
That's your size shovel. I saw that over there and I thought, you know, there's one over there now. I thought, man, that would be perfect size. Do you have one like that? I don't know. We can see. I, I don't what is my job going to I don't know. Robert? Yes. What's my mother's job? Supervise. Not sure what she's doing now. She's got a shovel. And she's dragging a hosta. Oh, I think I'm taking this hosta home. Look at that. She doesn't want to dig another hole, and she doesn't want to throw it away, so she's giving it to me so I could dig a hole. Here it is. Hold on a minute, Rob. We've got this over here now. You want this? You want it? Sure. Sure. Are you going to plant it? Yeah. Plant it. What are you going to do with it if I don't plant it? Well, I just didn't want to dig another hole. Okay. But I would because it's still in my seat. Okay. There goes the poop. I'm putting my shovel away. You don't want to help shovel the sh I almost said the bad word. You don't want to help shovel that poop anymore? No, 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 Okay. Poor Rob. You want a pop, Rob? No, no, not right now. Not yet. The supervisor's um, offering to give him. Do you have a beer? Any beer? <laughs> that's that's plenty. You know that. You ever see us? You ever see a manure spreader in the field? Oh yeah. It, it's, it's all manure, but it's really thin. They don't use that much, you know? Nope. It's, it's amazing what it does to a field. Well, on that note, should I have not have filled my flower pots three quarter of the way with poop and then dirt? No, I might burn them out. Yeah, burn them out. Oh, well, I probably should fix that. I'll add some more dirt. Oh, I mixed it with the dirt. What? Well, I mixed it up. After, like in a bucket, I had the poop and the dirt in the bucket. I put the asparagus in up to four inches of manure down in the bottom of it. But then I covered it up with four inches of dirt. Okay. And then put Put mounds in there instead of asparagus Tell me, tell me what you did about your asparagus plants. Remember, you dug them. Yeah, I dug them down deep. How deep did you go? I went down about three feet. Three feet with his asparagus plants, and when they grew up, they start out like a hair coming off the root, and the further they have to grow, the bigger around it gets. And so you had big asparagus from planting them yeah. that deep. Good asparagus. And they lasted years. Well, the guy, when I bought them, the guy told me asparagus plants last 20 years. And by golly, I got it on year 19 from year 20. The whole bed, nothing come up, not a thing. Really? Yep. Wow. That amazed me. I said, well, where's my asparagus this year? And I remember he said, 20 years is on that was it. I don't know how they know that. But... All right, so here comes the peat moss. <sighs> Little poop and moss. Are you going to put peat moss in our beds? Yes. This is going to be nice. All right, well, let's walk back here. I'll show you where my dad used to have his compost. Let's talk about this rock first. This is called poop rock. Why, you might want to know? 
because when my brother was a very tiny boy, him and his friend went around and collected all the dog poop on sticks that was in the yard and rubbed it all over the rock. So we just called it Poop Rock. I'm sure he's happy that I'm telling this story right now. All right, back here next to the shed, my dad had two huge bins. And this is where all his compost used to be. So I imagine the soil under this is awesome. In fact, I came and got some to plant something once. I just dug up a little bit over there. But he had all of this, all of it was compost. He had two bins and he would switch them out and move them. And one year he cooked a potato in there that was so hot he wanted to see if he could cook a potato. And he did, it worked. And then all of this used to be his garden spot. All of this, it used to all be garden. So we're happy he's wanting to garden again. We're excited. We have, me and my dad always used to fight over the first tomato. What did you plant? My mother and I were at a garage sale and we got some, she gave us these bulbs and said they were, I don't even know. So they spread and they'll come up in the spring. I think that's one of them. I have a lot of those. I think that's it. We've got two different things. Not sure what that's called, but. Probably a weed. No, I don't think that's a weed because I still I have those at my house. Well, that's where I planted everything in there. All right. But. Well, I I have a lot of those that I didn't pull out because I didn't think they were weeds. So we're gonna. I'll just see what they do. See if they spread in that area. All right, I don't know, see these trees right here? These fern tall hemlocks, I think they're hemlocks. Well, the people that used to live there planted one for each child. They planted five, one for each child, hemlocks. And one year, their youngest daughter was killed in a really tragic car accident. And the next year, one tree died. So one tree died along with their daughter. And I just, we've always thought that was just kind of special. All right, well, I guess he's cutting down a tree now, or a limb. All I have to do is follow my husband around with the camera on the weekends because he goes like non-stop. Seriously. Grammy wants that limb cut out. Let's see if this thing will work. She said, well, I was going to see if he'd bring his chainsaw, but I didn't want to <laughs> ask because he's already doing the garden. Too dull. Let's see how well this goes. Yeah, it might be too dull. Might work. Looks like it's loose. Wonder what he's going to do when we get home. I need to go lay down. I'm going to have to give him this camera because and tell them, you know, set, just set it up and film yourself. Whatever you do, just film it. Oh, there it goes. He got it. There you go. Down. Now what are you going to do with that? Yeah, I have to cut it up and then I can put it in my... Do you, how about if we just take it home? My debris, I have a debris can I put out once a week. Alright, well we have a burn pile. We could just... Alright. Well, Rob, do you just want to take that home? Alright. I have another saw. That's fine. Use this. There he goes. Yep. 
Okay. Branch down. Anything else you need done while we're here? No. You no. sure? We don't mind. <laughs> we don't, don't we? No, we don't. I'm just walking. We don't mind, do we, Rob? No. Not at all. This is what you do for your parents. All you younger kids out there, when your parents took care of all you, all those years, yeah. it's your turn. Help your parents. Help a neighbor. Help somebody that might want something done but can't do it themselves. And when you do that, expect nothing in return. Just do it without expecting anything in return. And blessings will abound somehow. Okay, we're recording again. Oh, so. That kept coming off there, and it's always had a, a screw, and it started out with a yeah. rivet. Started out with a rivet, and it, I don't, something had to be knocking it off of there. I think the mower knocks it off. I don't know, either, either mower or ice. I no, it's pulling it down just, too. Just this spring has been coming off. And the hole's gotten so big, I don't have a sheet screw big enough to... Right. I always have to do like a washer or something. That'll do it. You know, the thing is, I got a rivet machine down, down there. I had to come out and drill a hole, put a rivet in it. Maybe I can put a big rivet in that thing. The end, Rob? Hmm? Are we on the end? Yes, we are on the end. We're done. We're done. <laughs>